Hello! Hello! Hello mga Beaver Kada! Nandito po tayo sa Taiwan at mamaya meron po tayo another FB Live sa OFW Beaver Kada! Usap tayo! Maganda po yung talakayin natin mamaya at makakasama natin ang the one and only Miss Phil Tai, the voice, si Miss Jen. Siya po ay isang known personality among Filipinos here in Taiwan. Na gusto niyang i-bridge yung community ng Filipinos and Chinese here. Correct. Spreading positive culture and good camaraderie. Yes. At pag-uusapan natin, sir and Madel, yung mga negative and positive traits ng mga Pinoy. Isa siyang YouTuber, vlogger, mm -hmm. Community servant, yes. social media influencer, entrepreneur, former English teacher, and the founder of the blog Hello Phil Thai. Yes, hello po sa ating lahat. Good yes. evening and welcome sa Taiwan. Be Marcada. Yay! Yay! Ma'am Jen, ano yes. ba yung reason kung bakit ito yung napili mong topic natin for this live episode? When we talk about values, mm -hmm. it specifically refers sa perception, mentality ng isang tao. So ngayon, sigurado ako na bawat Pilipino gusto na talaga na magkaroon ng totoong pagbabago sa bansa natin. So we cannot have that kung hindi natin babaguhin yung mentality natin. And what shows our mentality and that's our values. Yeah. Pag pagka hospitable ang isang isang tao, I think I felt na ng Filipino and Taiwan may, may relevant uh, uh, okay. ganyang bagay. Uh, agree ako sa sinasabi mo na yung mga Pilipino talaga mm -hmm. sa atin in terms of service, especially sa ibang bansa, uh, we are re really doing our best. Pero sa atin, iba, bakit sa ibang bansa ang ganda ng service? Ah, but sa atin, so, sarili na yun. So, so, hmm, kasi Ayan. like yung mga tendera, Ah, uh, wala naghihintay lang. Mm -hmm. uh, eh, regardless of what store, kahit nga ma mall or department store or pagka, talagang ganyan lang. That's my personal observation kasi nakailang ulit na din akong ulit sa atin. I've been staying here for 11 years. So talagang mm -hmm. makukumpara ko na bakit pag nasa labas ang ganda. Ganda Correct. talaga ng, ng disiplina ng Pilipino. Yeah. Pero sa atin, bakit nakaganan? So kapag grab mentality yung pinag-uusapan, kung may nagtanong sa iyo and may may nag-open up sa iyo as a friend, you should not say na ay insecure yan sa iyo kasi maganda ka. Insecure yan sa iyo kasi magaling ka. That's another grab mentality. Uh -oh. So kung ibalik ta din natin so sa taong nakapansin, we should also tell that person na hindi naman kailangan na pansinin lahat. Kasi pag papansin mo lang lahat, wala ka talagang magagawa. You can never move on. Yung crab mentality na yan, dapat we will go back to colonial mentality na dapat ako yung para may senior, seniority complex. Mm. Ako yung mas magaling, ako yung nauna, ako yung VIP. Crab mentality is just a part, it's just a speck of the root cause, okay. which is colonial mentality. <laughs> it's very important to have this topic para sa mga kaibigan natin kasi we need to give them solution. Okay. Because if yeah, the, the problem is there. Ang problema, they don't know how to read of it. So mm. like what you've said with the hospitality na mga kababayan natin, dapat with or without camera, with or, with or without the, the boss, no. dapat talaga hospitable ka. And kahit nasa labas sa loob ng Pilipinas, it mm. should be the same service. It should be like that. And to talk about crab mentality, oh. ang, ang solusyon talaga, we should be careful with what we say. Kung nag-confide sa yung friend mo or anyone would say na bakit ganun, uh, and then you, yung pagsabi talaga na insecure yan sa'yo, that line, automatically talaga, that's adding up. Yung puna ng puna naman, bago ka magpuna sa iba, you should, you know, you should appreciate yourself. Because yes. the more you appreciate yourself, you can never look at others. Oh. Kasi ang mayayari, you're happy about you. Why would you talk about other people? Mas, mas maganda yung busy kesa walang ginagawa. Because if you're not doing anything, you're not being productive. So the solution is, Keep yourself learning something. Oh, there's there's always a level of friendship. Oh. So level one, hi, hello, Bert, hi, Jack, uh, hi, Madel. Yeah. It's level one. Oh, we're, we're, we're kind of alike. I want to be friend with you. So magkaibigan kayo. Level two, ay maruno pala si Albert mag drawing. I can learn from you. Okay. So nagka, naging close na kayo kasi uh -oh. you share time. Yeah. 
Level 3. But hindi kasi lahat nakapunta ng level 3. Ano it so happened, level 3 si Albert naging CEO ng painting kasi sumikas siya sa pagpipintura. Level 2, hindi niya makaya. Hindi niya mapantayan si Albert. So what happened? Sasabi niya, ah, hindi naman marunong niyan si Albert. Sabay naman kami na nag, 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 nag-paint. And then, siya lang yung sumikat. Ako, hindi lang ako nag-i-retest. Kasi si Albert, hindi ko gano'n. Oh, That's wow. already crab mentality. Yes. And bakit niya gagawin yun? Kasi whatever that person does, hindi siya nare-recognize. Kasi si Albert ang nakitang una. Mm-hmm. So, you know, kaya sinabi mo, yes, recognition really is one thing we Filipinos should take out. Our solution for natin dyan, to minimize like crab mentality, colonial mentality, recognition problem, association problem, all the, those problems is you should have the same flock with you. Alam okay. mo yung, you know, it's really true. Birds with the same feather flock together. Correct. Totoo yan. So, halimbawa, um, hindi kasi namimili. It's not that namimili ka ng friends. Mm-hmm. You, ju- you just have to be very careful. Kasi mm-hmm. nga, sabi ni Sir Albert, di ba kanina na parang nagiging competitor mo siya. Yes. Pero kapag mag-iba kayo ng uh, level of thinking, dun talaga nagkakaroon ng problema. So, you can be acquainted, but being friends is different. Kaya nga, may level nga po tayo. So, the solution for that problem po, to minimize the problem of mentality, crime mm. mentality, tapos yung insecurity, di ba? Mm. Lahat na pong ganito, isa po talagang solusyon, you should, you should uh, be careful with the friends you are with. Yes. So, pwede naman kasi we can be acquainted, magkaiba po yun. So, in, in, siguro, in Visaya, anong imong kailatanan, kay, kilala mo lahat, in Tagalog too, but you get closer to people you think you can work well together because right. in that case you learn together you you progress together but hindi kayo kailangan mag-away kasi nga mas magaling ang isa mas magaling ako you can't compete kasi paras kayo gusto lang natin sabihin na we should maintain that right yung pagmamano kasi uh, i have i have a lot of taiwanese friends and i brought them with me sa pilipinas and we, we've done a lot of immersion. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's 2013 na uh, Bridge to Home. And yan yung talagang napansin nila yung nagmamano yung mga bata. Mm-hmm. They really appreciate that a lot. Gustong gusto nila yan. And yung pagpupo at opo, um, sa, sa ibang Asia, Asians, that's very typical to Asians. Kasi even mga Vietnamese, and, mm-hmm. you know, uh, they do that. For me lang talaga. It's nice to be very uh, proud of where we come from. Yeah. Kasi, if you're proud of it, no one else can take it from you. Exactly. So people can see that from you too. It's really up to us how we push our, our province, where we come from. When when you say, I'm a proud Cebuana, people from Cebu would also say, oh, I'm from Cebu too. And they're proud. Yeah. What, what we're trying to to uh, share, the idea that we can't Lagyan tayo tayo mismo, lagyan natin ng stereotype at label and division. Para more of kilalanin lang natin sila at maging mas accepting tayo. Exactly, kasi lahat ng provinces are, we have different cultures. Uh-oh. Yeah, kaya kailangan talaga, we just have to know that person more. Ang importante lang po talaga, we should know how to be proud kung saan tayo galing. Yan yun talaga, number one. Be, be proud, honest. Be honest. Oh, oh. Yeah, and if you can speak Bisaya, kasi that's, that's proper ethics. If you that person speaks to you in English, you're speaking Be proud of your English. roots. Exactly. When Filipinos are within the territory of Philippines lang, mm. hindi nila marirelate yung sarili nila sa mga taong nasa ibang bansa. But once a Filipino goes to other countries, that's the time they realize na, Ay, hindi pala ganun. Hindi pala ganyan. Hindi pala dahil sa naisa, nasa ibang bansa, mayaman na isang tao. So, ang mahirap doon, hindi naman kasi lahat may chance na makapunta na ibang bansa para ma-realize yun. So, how can we make these people in the Philippines realize that that mentality is not right? So, isa lang, OFW, we should be true to ourselves and to our yes. salary. Ang mahirap din, marami din na sa ibang bansa, hindi nila pinapatotohanan yung, yung hirap sa ibang bansa. Yung totoong nararagnasa nila. So, halimbawa, naghihirap na sila dito, hindi nila sinasabi sa pamilya nila. So, yung pamilya nila, gastos lang ng gastos kasi hindi nga nila alam yung hirap sa ibang bansa. So, what happened there is, naghihirap siya, nagpapakasaya siya, tapos, it's like a cycle. Pero pag sinabi mo sa pamilya mo, they will give value to your salary. Mm-hmm. So every time they receive the money, 
they will give value to it and they will really buy what's due for that money that's the solution there we should too like stop our, our families back home hindi na sila magiging one day millionaire and yung value natin na anong anong nakasulat nga po dyan? jackpot ah jackpot mentality, mentality. Oh. <laughs> The one thing to really stop this kind of value system, negative value system of the Filipinos is to be again honest sa yes. kind of work and gano kahirap sa family mo. Hindi namin ito sinishare sa iyo, sa inyong lahat para para pag-usapan lang. Kaya nga po, merong solution every yes. problem para gawin natin. From the moment you know how to solve it, you try it. Talagang mas maging magaan din po yung pamumuhay mo. Kasi nasasolve mo yung typical problems natin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes, it right. starts from us. It's a solution mm -hmm. din po, sir. Oh. Dapat, we must be strong on what we believe in. Okay. Dapat meron kang prinsipyo. Oh. When you say no, it's really a no. Ay. When it's a let, that, ito, let yes, a yes be a yes, and a no be a no. Hindi pwede yung balimbing. Walang pure walk. 